With so much rich history, it's rather hard to sum up what Asia has to offer. There's anything and everything in this continent that any traveler will find interesting. From the highest point in the world found at the tip of Mount Everest to the lowest point in the Dead Sea, nowhere else on Earth does ancient civilization meet modern innovation in such amazing ways. But wait till you see what's turned up there lately. You think you know, but you have no idea. 15 Unsettling Discoveries in Asia Nobody Can Explain Ghost City People like to joke that Kangbashi in Inner Mongolia is a new Chinese city that, apart from people, has everything. It was also known as China's Ghost City for the Rich. The region's sudden ascent to wealth came in 2004 from its plentiful reserves of energy and mineral resources. It had one-sixth of the country's total coal reserves. Its proven natural gas reserves were equivalent to one-third of the country's total, and its proven rare earth and kaolin deposits accounted for half of the total domestic reserves. These rich underground resources have propelled an economic growth rate of nearly 30% with urban development to match. Talk about Boomtown! As the government proclaimed in 2009, Inner Mongolia has the fastest growing economy in China. Not anymore. In the early years, fewer than 30,000 people lived in a city that's been built for a million. It seemed empty and desolate. Apart from street cleaners, the roads were virtually empty and most of the residential buildings were entirely dark at night. Kangbashi gained the reputation of being a ghost town. It lacked amenities like supermarkets, clothing shops, departments, and other convenience stores and it's still pretty empty. Years later, Kangbashi is still working hard to attract residents. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. Of all the things we've discovered in Asia, could this be the most unsettling? Many experts would like us to believe that ancient aliens paid a visit to this iconic continent, and recently a major discovery of a gold mask alongside a treasure trove of artifacts at a Bronze Age site in China has generated online debate about whether there were once aliens in China thousands of years ago. Would the masks in these images be enough to convince you? Or do you need more evidence? They do look very alien-esque, to be honest. The gold masks, maybe worn by a priest, became the talk of China since the discovery. It's similar to previous discoveries of bronze human statues, however, the inhuman and foreign features the finds have triggered speculation they may belong to extraterrestrials. But what do you think? In the comment section below, tell us your theories as to who this belonged to or where you think it came from. Hashtag Sweet Topic Glass Bridges This glass footpath is a skywalk bridge in China that opened in 2016. The bridge, built as an attraction for tourists, is glass-bottomed and transparent. When it opened, it was the longest and tallest glass-bottomed bridge in the world, and bravery is required to complete the walk if you're scared of heights at all. It measures 1,410 feet in total length and 20 feet in width and is suspended about 980 feet above the ground. The bridge spans the canyon between two mountain cliffs in a national park in the northwest Hunan province. The bridge is made of a metal frame with more than 120 glass panels, layered with two-inch slabs of tempered glass. There are three long swings attached to the underside of the bridge. There's also a provision for making a 935-foot bungee jump, considered to be the highest bungee jump in the world. But just 13 days after the bridge was opened, the authorities put out a notice saying they were closing the bridge due to overwhelming visitor traffic. The bridge, designed to hold 800 people at a time and expected to be visited by about 8,000 people per day, had reportedly attracted more than 80,000 visitors. So, the government decided to suspend operations due to the urgency to improve and update the attraction, and the bridge reopened soon after it was completed. Killing Stone The stone in question is known as Sishu Siki and is located in the volcanic mountains of Nasu, an area of Japan. The stone reputedly kills anyone who comes into contact with it, but since it's an area filled with poisonous gas, there could be a rational explanation for that duly noted, but there's a legend behind this belief. People believe the stone is the transformed corpse of a beautiful woman who lived during the reign of Emperor Toba about 1,000 years ago. But she was actually a nine-tailed fox working with an evil lord to overthrow the emperor. But before the fox could enact her dastardly plan, a warrior killed her and her body was transformed to stone as she tried to flee. 
an extra part of the legend states that a Buddhist priest resting near the stone was threatened by the Lady Fox's spirit. After certain rituals were performed, she promised not to haunt the stone anymore. However, that didn't stop rumors circulating that anyone who touched it ended up dead. And the so-called killing stone made international headlines when it split recently, spewing out toxic gases. It's most likely that the split was the result of natural weathering. Despite a logical explanation, many people saw the split as a bad omen. <laughs> Stigmatized houses. Do you want cheap rent in Japan? Try renting a haunted house. Japanese folks have a belief that the spirits of the dead live in the house they died in. A Jaiko Buken is a property where the former occupant died of unnatural causes such as suicide, murder, fire, or neglect. Stigmatized properties like these are a property that buyers or tenants may shun for reasons that are unrelated to their physical condition or features. On top of that, it includes things like whether or not an organized crime organization used the space or if a religious cult exists nearby. But on the flip side, they can be rented or purchased at very low prices, provided you're okay with the history of the home or apartment. There are a growing number of individuals and companies that specialize in purchasing these stigmatized properties at huge discounts and either renting them out or reselling them in the future. Could you live in a so-called cursed property? Although both of the civil law of Japan dictates that realtors inform any prospective tenants of any stigma involving the previous tenant or property, the realtors themselves have to decide what exactly is worth informing prospective tenants about. Some things are better left unsaid. School filled with sharks. In Japan's education systems, nearly all elementary schools come equipped with swimming pools. While many children fantasize about sharks swimming in their pools, the closest they get is insects and occasional tadpoles growing there in the off-season, when the pools are unused and covered with algae. Those childish shark dreams came true at the Marudo Schoolhouse Aquarium, which is housed in an elementary school that went defunct in 2006. In its outside swimming pools, you can find a variety of creatures such as sea turtles, hammerhead sharks, stingrays, mackerels, and mahi-mahi, collected straight from the local fishing ports. The aquarium was founded in 2018 and was initially meant to use the disused schoolhouse to store its collection of zoological specimens. Hoping to make use of abandoned facilities, the mayor propelled the council to open an aquarium that focuses on the local ecosystem. One of the most unique aspects is that it exhibits are strictly seasonal, as the pools draw their water from the sea right in front of the aquarium. As such, new fish, sharks too, referred to as transfer students by the staff, are brought in every season. You're not actually allowed to swim with sharks, but it is a fascinating sight nonetheless. Blue Volcano This volcano on the island of Java in Indonesia has two of the most unusual occurrences on Earth. The first is a wide lake filled with turquoise blue water. The color of the water is a result of its extreme acidity and a high concentration of dissolved metals. It's the world's largest highly acidic lake with a measured pH as low as 0.5. The cause of its acidity is an inflow of hydrothermal waters charged with gases from a hot magma chamber below. The second and most impressive occurrence is an active sulfur tara that emits hot, flammable, sulfurous gases. These ignite as they enter Earth's oxygen-rich atmosphere and burn with an electric blue flame. Some of the gas condenses in the atmosphere to produce flows of molten sulfur that also burn with an electric blue flame, and a continuous stream of sulfur-laden gases blast from fumaroles at the side of the lake. These hot gases travel underground in the absence of oxygen. If they're hot enough when they emerge from a vent, the sulfur ignites upon contact with oxygen in the atmosphere. The volcano remains active. The last big eruption occurred in 1817. The smaller eruption since then caused very little damage, but presents a danger to anyone mining sulfur or visiting the lake. <laughs> Most Dangerous Train Journey Pompin Bridge is a railway bridge that connects the town of Mandapan in mainland India with Mompin Island. Opened in 1914, it was India's first sea bridge and was the longest sea bridge in India for almost 100 years. The rail bridge is, for the most part, a conventional bridge resting on concrete piers, but has a section midway which can be raised to let ships and barges pass through. However, the bridge is located in one of the world's most corrosive environments, making its maintenance a challenging job. 
The location is also a cyclone-prone high wind velocity zone. The construction of this bridge has left many engineers wondering how it still stands tall and strong even today. And in 1964, an estimated 25-foot storm surge stuck the bridge, overturning a passenger train killing more than 200 passengers on board. Then, almost 50 years later, the bridge suffered minor damage when a naval barge drifted into it. But the bridge still stands today. As India's first sea bridge, it has almost become a tourist attraction by itself as people watch in awe when the two levees on the bridge open up to let ships pass through. Indian railways are vying to bring the bridge to UNESCO's World Heritage List. <coughs> Rukin Skeleton Lake High in India's Himalayas, 16,500 feet above sea level and nestled in a snowy valley at the base of three Himalayan mountain peaks is a place known as Skeleton Lake. The lake itself is not huge, only 130 feet wide and 8 feet deep, but its beauty is mesmerizing. But the lake and surrounding slopes are strewn with hundreds of human bones. Depending on the season and weather, the lake, which is frozen most of the year, expands and shrinks. Only when the snow melts for a few months in summer, August and September, are the skeletons visible. Most are well preserved, some with flesh still attached. These are the remains of an estimated 600 to 800 people. The secret here was first chanced upon by a forest ranger in 1942. He initially thought the skeletons belonged to fallen Japanese soldiers trying to invade India. A closer inspection proved the bones to be much older. In 2004, a team traveled to Rupkund and retrieved about 30 skeletons. The lake's high altitude and icy temperatures had preserved much of the remains, with some of the skeletons still having hair and flesh attached. Indian geneticists conducting DNA tests concluded the skeletons were roughly 1,200 years old. The study shed a little light on what may have happened, but the mystery was far from solved. <laughs> walking leaves Talk about camouflage excellent, leaf insects, or walking leaves, are some of the most remarkable leaf mimics in the entire animal kingdom. As you can see, these insects take the appearance of a leaf to hide from predators. They do this so accurately that predators often aren't able to distinguish them from real leaves. In some species, the edge of the leaf insect's body even has the appearance of bite marks. To further confuse predators, when the leaf insect walks, it rocks back and forth to mimic a real leaf being blown by the wind. Genius, right? The female has large feathery forewings that lie edge to edge on the abdomen and resemble, in their vein pattern, the midrib and veins in a leaf. Females are flightless, and so the hind wings have no function. The male has ample, non-leaf-like functional hind wings. The males can fly once they become adults, and they generally will do this often when disturbed. This species of leaf insect is very quiet during the day, but becomes active during the night. When they walk, they will walk in a stop-go kind of way, as if they're moved by the wind. Leaf insects occur from South Asia through Southeast Asia to Australia, and they're among the most successful camouflagers known to exist. <laughs> Scarewolf They're officially known in Japan as super monster wolves, but we're loving the name Scarewolf. But don't worry, they weren't created to terrorize local residents. They serve a very important purpose. Engineers designed these robots to stop animals from eating farmer crops. And so many farms here have become home to various yet oddly horrifying versions of them. The first official trial of the robot wolf just ended, and surprise, it was a resounding success. In fact, it was such a success that the wolf is entering mass production. In truth, the story of the robot wolf is more than a little problematic. Wolves went extinct in Japan in the early 1800s. Now, parts of the region are overrun with deer, wild boar, and aggressive bears. They love to feast on farmers' rice and chestnut crops. Obviously, farmers had to come up with a solution. Fast forward 200 years, engineers created this robotic wolf to replace the species they killed off. But there is some good here. Ultimately, the trials revealed that the wolf has an effective radius of just over a half mile, making it more effective than an electric fence. Anything outside that, you'll have to invest in a few to ward off hungry predators. <laughs> Cliff Commute In this remote part of China, kids need to be ultra brave just to get to school. To attend class, backpack-carrying pupils from a village in Sichuan province must take on a 2,600-foot rock face scrambling down rickety ladders and clawing their way over bare rocks as they go. And when footage of the killer climb reached the media, 
people were shocked and very concerned. But the head of the 72 family farming community, which produces peppers and walnuts, told the press that there had been insufficient room to build a school for local children on the mountaintop. The wooden ladders used to move up and down the mountain are, like the village, hundreds of years old. And sadly, an unconfirmed amount of villagers have plunged to their deaths after losing their grip during the climb, while many more have been badly injured. The trek to school is now considered so grueling that the children have been forced to board, only returning to their mountaintop homes to see their families twice a month. But needless to say, the uproar over the students' hair-raising commute brought promises of government action. The plan is for a steel staircase to be built to connect the deprived hamlet with the outside world until a permanent solution was found. Ancient handprints. Archaeologists believe they've discovered the world's oldest known representational artwork. Three hand-stenciled wild pigs painted deep in a limestone cave on the Indonesian island of Sulawesi at at least 45,500 years ago. The ancient images were found in a cave made with red ochre pigment. The painting appears to depict a group of Sulawesi warty pigs, two of which appear to be fighting. Those two images are badly damaged, but the third, possibly watching the drama unfold, remains in near pristine condition. The handprints are like an artist's signature. It's one of the most spectacular and well-preserved figurative animal paintings known in the whole region. The paintings provide clues about what life was like in ancient times here. These are small native pigs that are endemic to Sulawesi and are still found on the island, although in ever-dwindling numbers. The common portrayal of these warty pigs in the Icy Age rock also are the ancient hunting culture. An archaeologist student discovered the cave and its prehistoric paintings in 2017. It's only accessible during the dry season via a long trek over mountains through a rough forest path. <coughs> UFO Houses Mystery surrounds this semi-abandoned resort, home to the last pod of Futuro, the world-famous UFO houses in Taiwan. They may be the largest pod houses in the world. The Futuro houses, designed by a Finnish architect, resemble whimsical flying saucers. This particular pod, comprising about six Futuros, is scattered throughout a large complex of Venturo houses, another retro-futuristic prefab house model by the same architect. The prefabricated plastic oddities were originally designed as ski chalets light enough to be airlifted onto any terrain although the ones here swap the adjustable UFO-style legs for pebble concrete staircases. The UFO-shaped house closest to the entrance of the park boasts a fully functioning airplane-style door and windows. Inside the small circular space are a sitting area, kitchen, bedroom, and bathroom. It's not hard to imagine this place is new. Such potential with cutting-edge architecture and the underlying promise of the techno-wondrous future, the curved lines of walls and windows, the modern building materials interspersed with stone and tile. These houses are a relic of the forgery of an ideal on the far side of the world from where it was born. <laughs> Face Kini. This wacky but fun fashion craze reportedly began in China in 2012. The nylon swimming mask that covers the face and neck is worn to protect users from harmful UV rays, as well as pollution and jellyfish stings. Paler skin is historically seen as a sign of prosperity across China, and beachgoers often go to extreme lengths to protect themselves from the sun. And today, the face kini, originally worn by middle-aged people to protect their skin from the sun, has found its way into a high-end fashion in New York, Paris, and Milan. That's fashion for you. The bizarre spread was pictured sporting the colorful face kinis while wearing expensive designer swimsuits and jewelry. Despite how cool it's become, there's an increasing awareness of the dangers of sun exposure. As well as avoiding sun damage, the face kini also has other advantages, with women reporting that it made them feel better about bearing it all in a swimsuit. And as you can see, they come in various colors, themes, and styles. While it seems to have impressed top fashion editors, other social media users remain unconvinced. It looks like bank robbers are raiding the beach, one critic commented. <laughs> Dragon chickens. No, we're not looking at a hybrid animal in a Game of Thrones episode, and they may look horribly deformed, but these dragon chickens are among the world's most expensive poultry as their massive thighs are a delicacy in Vietnam. The bizarre-looking breed, also called the Dong Tao chicken, is prized for its delicious meat and was once bred exclusively for the country's royal family. 
dragon chickens, usually served in restaurants that cater to the wealthy, are native to this region, a pair of these chickens can cost a staggering $2,500. The bird is in high demand, but also in short supply, which explains its high price. The birds, which enjoy a meal of crickets, are extremely sensitive to changes in temperature and tend to lay fewer eggs than common chickens. The bird's bulbous legs are covered with reddish scales and can grow to be as thick as a person's wrist. Their huge legs and feet also make the hatching process more difficult, so more attention is needed from farmers to produce chicks. So, breeders have to assist the hens in order to produce those chicks. A newborn chick takes eight months to one year to become a sellable bird, but when they're ready, people pay the big bucks to feast on them. We did our best, but some discoveries really do remain unexplainable. And Asia as a continent is not alone. These unsettling discoveries can be found all over the world if you look hard enough, and that's just a part of the fun. So like and subscribe if you want more fun videos.